What's going on? My name is Booney Mayfield, and today I'll be discussing my latest project that I released called Boom Pop, The Mile High Theory. It's his makeup. It's what he's made of as far as music from all of his influences, and then what just comes out. Boom Pop is basically what I call my own genre and sound that is really just a combination of all the influences uh, of all the genres and eras that I'm into from hip hop, rock, soul, funk, jazz, pop, and others. I think Boom Pop was forming for like the past decade but i'd say really in the last five years with the music that i've been um making and putting out from especially the black floyd series one of the most frustrating things i was dealing with was having to choose which genre uh to select none of them was fitting for me at as just one thing because it's not just hip-hop it's not just uh, funk or or soul or jazz and it was even when I was asking you know other people I, I would just be like both what genre would you consider this or release it as <laughs> so many people would just be like I don't know I'd bring up like songs from Black Floyd like so much fire I would hear you know uh experimental R&B or progressive hip hop or rap rock and then i was just like you know what let me ask this question if you heard this song and it happened to be a white artist would you consider it hip hop or R&B and every single one of them were like no and i was i was like that that is the problem with how we categorize music at that point i was really just trying to figure out like what can i call this and just thought to myself i'm like you know what this this really is just like what my version of pop music would be even pop artists today their albums will go all over the place it'll be it'll be r&b one moment funk another moment hip-hop more influence with trap and some and then rock at another moment and that's just that's just normal but when someone is pegged as a specific genre of an artist then it's like wait what are they doing but when it's under the pop umbrella which there's all kinds of different types of pop then it's just it's like okay it's a mix of all these things and that's that's when I kind of looked at everything. I was like, this is my this is my version of pop. I'm calling it boom pop. I'm black, which means my granddaddy is your granddaddy's rock daddy. And I'm just claiming my musical inheritance because it's been in the white man's booty hole for too long. So don't you dare call crack rock experimental rap or alternative R&B. Don't call it urban either. Cause we ain't making race records over here. I'm a musicianist. And if you got a problem with that, you can go and eat some ass chips. The Mile High Theory is definitely a nod to A Tribe Called Quest and The Low End Theory. And you know, it does represent the overall sound. Um, which, you know, there's kind of just like a method to my madness with this. You know, some people are going to hear this and hear some of the songs I've been doing in the past five years and be like, well, this sounds like this song or this sounds like this. It's all intentional. I can sit here and explain like what I've studied over time all day. But uh, what I will say, this rhythm, this bounce and the swing of it just makes me want to dance naturally. At the end of the day, I had to just keep it going for myself because it's just like, man, I feel like having more songs that I'm just grooving and dancing to. Eventually, you know, I ended up incorporating a dance move that I created like 20 over 20 years ago back in 2003 C O L O R A 
be. Oh. Bounce. The Boon Walk wasn't called that before because I didn't go by Booney Mayfield when I came up with it. Uh, so it was in 2003 and I messed around and came up with this glide. I think the first time that I actually did it on camera was in 2008 when I, I did a video with my homeboy Jamile. But then that was it. I, I just didn't really use it for anything. And so it was when I was working on uh, the songs for this album and I was writing Peep the Wings. And there's the, the line I say, Bitch, I'm about to strut down my lane and shut my haters up. And I was like, man, that'll be cool. Like when I do the music video that I, I start gliding, you know, at that part and say this. So I was like, yeah, I plan to do that. A few hours later, I was like, the boon walk. I'm calling it the boon walk. And so a week later, I wrote Mile High Salute and then ended up putting in that part. Like, I think I need to boom walk on them and then put in this whole dance break part. And that made me like want to try it out. Go, 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 go. Once I did it, I just loved it. And I was like, this is perfect. Hidden level. I'd say the overall message with the songs are really self-confidence, resilience, and courage to keep going and celebrating yourself and life in the process. A lot of the songs are focusing on the right people, the people that are understanding it, that are digging it, the new people that are coming and the people that have been along for the ride for years and all the transitions and evolution and get it and enjoy it. And you know, that's that's where I'm focusing on. If you look at even the song One Bad, I'm addressing the people that I've had along in my journey that have encouraged me and have believed in me, you know, through all the transitions I was going through and whatnot. And, you know, just focusing more on that. So I know the right people will be inspired by what is being said in these songs and what the vibe is and, and can dance along and enjoy as well. And so to all the newcomers, thank you to all the ones that have been rocking with me for all these years, still to this day, I appreciate you as well. And I hope y'all continue to do your things in life, whatever your dreams are. And when you're celebrating your life and pushing through the obstacles, I hope this album can uh, be added to your soundtrack. Peace to everybody and mile high salute.